Hey, what's up guys? A special treat for you today. As you see in front of you here, we have the Siglent SDG 1032X Arbitrary Waveform Generator. This is a really nice solid piece of gear. Its uh, width, height, and depth are 260 by 102 by 295 millimeters. It's got a nice case, metallic front is plastic, universal power supply, nice ground on the back side, 10 megahertz counter uh, clock in out, auxiliary in out, and a built in frequency counter, LAN, and USB connectors. This thing weighs about four kilograms so like I said what you got here is a solid solid piece of gear let's power it up take a few seconds for it to come to life here for us and while it's doing that let's talk about it it is dual channel as you can see here according to the features it's up to 60 megahertz but here on this uh, label, it says 30 megahertz. Well, guess what? We'll find that out later. 150 mega samples per second sampling rate, 14 bit vertical resolution, 16 kilopoints wave form length. And it's got tons and tons of functions. And we're going to go over them here. Now, first of all, we have nice rotating knob with detents and it is clickable now you can see here it's on frequency we can dial our frequency up and down like that and there is a beep it's kind of quiet so i'm not sure you can hear it but whatever you can enter with the dial you can also enter with the keypad so that's very nice now we have our output buttons, which is lighted, lit, however you want to say it. Let's see, oh yeah, if I turn off the lights there, you can see it a little bit better. And you can see our function buttons here. We're on parameter. Go to utility, save, recall, mod, sweep. Lots of good stuff here. Uh, turn our channels on and off. Switch our channels here backspace for the keypad entry and nice soft touch buttons down here now these are not lighted but you know that's not really all that necessary so let's take a closer look in at the screen as we look at some of the features now this is a very bright screen um, the lettering is very crisp any blurring you see on here is a fact of my camera and not of the screen. It's very sharp. So let's start out with what we all want it for, which is to generate waveforms. So if we press the waveform button here, you can see our types of waveforms, sine, square, ramp, pulse, noise. And on page two, we have DC and arbitrary. So let's select a sine wave, for instance. And now our sine wave options come up down here. Frequency and period, pressing the button, switches between them. Amplitude, high level, offset, low level, phase, and harmonics. So let's find out if it really is 60 megahertz. We got frequency up here. I type in six, zero megahertz. No, and it goes to 30 megahertz. So it is only a 30 megahertz scope or a <laughs> waveform generator but that's okay now we have our amplitude uh, I think it said 20 volts peak to peak no 10 volts peak to peak is our upper limit and our offset let's see how high we can go with the offset Offset is set for zero. Let's see if we can set it any higher. 
No. Okay, what about lower? No. So for a sine wave, there can be no offset. Probably because it's an AC. Let's bring in a square wave and see if we can change our offset. No. Okay. But we can change phase angle. Very nice. And our duty cycle, you see, is set for 50%. And we can change that as well. Very nice. Now, if we go into our waveform menu again and we go to the arbitrary waveforms, oops, I pressed the wrong button. We have a choice between stored and built in. Built in, we have stair up, stair down, stair UD, trapezoid, P pulse, end pulse, up ramp, down ramp, sign trap, sign vert. All very nice. We also, those are just the common. Then we have math waveforms. We have engine waveforms, window waveforms, trigonometric waveforms. Uh, this is just a whole page of square waveforms, medical waveforms, uh, AM, FM, PFM, PM, and PWM modulation, filters, Butterworth, Chebyshev 1 and 2. I mean, this is just fantastic, the stuff that is available on here. A nice ramp waveform, and you can see our adjustments. We have frequency, amplitude, offset, phase, symmetry. Again, it says high impedance on the output, and we can turn our output on and off with the output switch. All right, let's hook this up to my scope and take a look at some of the waveforms. All right, I've got it hooked up to my scope, and we are running a waveform, a sine wave at 500 kilohertz. And I don't know if you, how well you can see that or not, but it is, says it's locked on right there at 500 kilohertz. Very nice. All right, let's increase our frequency to one megahertz. Looking good. Let's try 10 megahertz. And look at that at 10 megahertz, those waveforms are quite beautiful. Oops, let's take it up to the max, 30 megahertz. Still beautiful, low jitter. Everything there is very nice. Look at that, we're all the way down to two nanoseconds per division on the scope there. Nice, nice waveform. All right, square wave. And let's change our frequency here. Let's do something really low. Let's say um, 50 hertz square wave. Now that's very nice looking square wave on there. There's no probe compensation. So you're seeing a tiny bit of overshoot. Frequency is locked on absolute. We're doing 10 volts peak to peak. And we're seeing 10.3 volts peak to peak on there. So very nice. Let's do a pulse. Zoom in on that pulse. That's a 50 hertz pulse, 10 volts peak to peak, pulse width of 200 nanoseconds. So let's bring up my cursor menu, measure time. Get that right on there.
Look at that. 200 nanoseconds. This thing is locked on and hardcore. I love it. All right, let's take a look at some of those arbitrary waveforms, see what we can get out of that. We'll go with the built-in arbitrary waveform. How about the trapezoid? Very nice. So 50 hertz, let's change the frequency of our trapezoid to, let's do something weird like a 254.321 hertz. And let's bring up the measure window. 254.4 hertz. Ah, you can't go wrong with that. How about the noise? Looking good. Let's go back to our arbitrary waveform. Let's bring in something a little bit more interesting. How about the medical and in EK, ECG? Okay, they got an ECG. ECG1. looking good on the screen now if you get lost here with some of the points you can just go to utility system set to default and it jumps back to a one kilohertz square right, here's something a little interesting this is one of their demo waveforms this is an arbitrary waveform with 375 points and you can see we have a little modulation on the points on the voltage so that is also All quite right, let's nice. set up and look at some modulation here we have am now we got am at 500 kilohertz let's go back here and try some fm and we'll put in my favorite station 102.5 megahertz come down here and adjust looking very nice now we can adjust a lot of things here we have our amplitude our offset our phase let's go back and set up a simple square wave But let's add some sweep to it. Look at that. Very nice. We can also do modulation. AM depth, AM frequency, type AM. Let's do FM modulation. FM frequency, uh, 103. 0.7 megahertz. Oh, okay, we can only modulate. Gotcha. Very nice. Utility system set to default. All right, next up, let's try and take a look at the frequency counter. Okay, I've got a square wave generator hooked up to the frequency counter input. And to get to the frequency counter, we press utility, counter, and you can see we have counter off, counter is on. And let's see if we can zoom in here and get a really good look at this. There we go. Now let me adjust the frequency here. It's a little bit slow on picking up the frequency, but all in all, 
not too bad. Let's try down at the low end of things. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So we can clear it. Turn it off. Clear. Setup functions. Reference frequency. All very nice. Let's go back to our... Good. All right, now one of the other last things I want to touch on is the fact that you can create and load your own waveform. So if we come in here to our waveform, page two, arbitrary, arb type, stored waveforms. So these are the ones that are stored on the hard drive. And of course we can select them with the multifunction knob. And there are quite a few of them. Here is a stair up, click to select, file import complete. And you can see we have a six megahertz stair step with a hundred millivolts peak to peak. Very nice indeed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little review and look at the Siglent SDG 1032X arbitrary waveform generator. Very nice, heavy, industrial piece of equipment. You know, you buy something like this, you're buying for a lifetime. And uh, it's available here in the U.S. from Siglent. It's also on Amazon, and I'm sure you can find it on eBay, for between about $350 and $440, depending on where you look. If you guys like this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. Review's over. Go watch another one of my videos now.